Well, everyone would probably agree the holidays aren't the same without family around, but it's even harder if you know your loved one is somewhere else in harm's way. News 4's Ben Briscoe met up with a team of elves today, hoping to help things make them a little easier for one Reno household dealing with this very situation. It's all new at 11. You could call Steve Fine the anti Grinch. Christmas is my holiday. Instead of breaking in to steal decorations, his team is hanging about 2,800 Christmas bulbs while the homeowners are gone. We bring the lights, we bring the labor, we bring the elves, they do some magic. They're part of the group Christmas Decor, which tries to lighten the spirits of military families by decking out their homes free of charge. There are people out there who are, who are celebrating Christmas who have a tougher uh, situation than we do. Lights signify fun and cheer, you know, it's as basic as that. This house is owned by Emily Keltner, her two children, and husband Josh, who normally goes all out with decorations himself. But this year, he's serving in Afghanistan. Neighbors stopping by say they're a deserving family, and the lights are already spreading excitement down the hall. Having something like this done for them just makes the occasion a little bit brighter. Right now, the friends of the family are distracting them with pedicures in the ice cream shop, but they keep texting the workers, telling them they need to hurry. When those two young kids get home and they didn't know this was going to happen at all, this is going to freak them out, and they're just going to jump for joy. So that's really why we do it. By the time the sun set over Reno, all the house was missing were the people who make it a home. As they pulled up, a crowd of family and friends gathered to see their response. It's amazing. It's the lights are beautiful and we have amazing friends and we're very surprised. But this story still has one more surprise in store. The military dad will be back for Christmas and won't know about the lights until he too pulls up in the driveway. Definitely a Christmas to remember. That's something even the real Grinch couldn't help but smile about. Ben Briscoe, News 4. Wow, well, that family was just one of three different ones nominated in Reno, and the charity says they'll also be there to help take down all those lights after Christmas is over.